right, guys, welcome back to Rayong. Today we are back on the move on the road trip through Thailand with Echo. And today we're gonna go from uh, Rayong and we're heading to Pattaya. So it should be interesting. This time it'll be quicker, I think just about one hour, maybe an hour and a half with traffic. So I'm excited. And I love the beach here, but this time I got a place that's like literally almost across the street from the beach. So it's gonna be perfect. Can't wait. breakfast on the fly so I got this ice latte I never tried them in the US but I like these honestly when you're on the go in Thailand they're so good nice little ice latte and then uh, like a what's it called like a breakfast burrito kind of thing like ham and cheese and some sauce so now we're off should be about one hour Echo seems comfy having a little nap Look at that guys, if you get a glimpse behind this truck, see over there, the mountains in the background. It looks beautiful. And over here, this side it looks like more flat. city and we are already stuck in traffic <laughs> so it feels like I'm back in good old Bangkok there was no traffic like this in Rayong it's like uh, like 1 1 20 p.m. so and what the, today is Friday too so probably not a great time for traffic but we should be able to see the beach in a couple minutes this way. All right, guys, we have just arrived. This is the room, nothing extremely fancy, but we've got the essentials. We've got air conditioning, even got a bonus fan, got a decent sized TV, big mirror, refrigerator to save some food. Even some uh, can take out the clothes and store them in the closet. And the bed is pretty big, honestly. Like, I think maybe a queen size bed. But how cool is this? This is probably the best part why I got this place. Look at this. We got a balcony right overlooking the street. You can see everything. There's bars, everything around here. The crazy part is this street i have a feeling is probably a little bit of a party street at night so i think it'll probably be like not very calm to sleep until like 2 a.m maybe but the other cool part you can actually almost see is the beach is right at the end of the street there so if you guys can almost see through there the color of the blue is the beach down there so it's only maybe a two minute walk to the beach so we're gonna be going there a lot. Oh my God, wow. The bed is even actually soft. That was not the case. Oh my, oh. I can sleep right now. That was not the case. The last few places I stayed, 
The bed was like a freaking rock. Oh my god, this is the first nice and soft bed I've been in a few weeks. Alright guys, we just arrived to Crazy Pattaya. So we just kind of got settled inside and I figured we'll go take a little walk and just check out the area. And you guys can see here, it's literally like just a couple minutes walk to the beach. We got Echo, of course. So yeah, we'll just take a quick look, get some street food. We'll just take a quick look around uh, and then, yeah, just take a look at the beach, enjoy the sun a little bit. Maybe get uh, a quick snack or something, even though it hasn't been that long since we had a late breakfast. And then, uh, honestly, today I think I'm not gonna do a whole lot of exploring. Maybe go out at night because uh, I've got like a good amount of work that I gotta get done. But it's honestly kind of nice to be, you see this like crazy crowded street, narrow street, the traffic can basically barely get through, but it's honestly kind of nice. There's like a 7-Eleven right around the corner as like there should be in Thailand. And it's kind of nice, honestly, after Rayong, like I like uh, sometimes a little bit of both, you know, it's fun for the adventure to go out. But uh, the place I was staying in Rayong just before for a week, was like a little bit detached from everything. So like the 7-Eleven literally wasn't even in walking distance and it was kind of hard to order grab for food or taxis at uh, in the evening and stuff like that, especially. So it's kind of nice. I like both sometimes, but right now it's kind of nice to be back in the thick of it and have everything right around you and convenient. You kind of take it, you got some food there, kind of take it for granted uh, when you have it. All right, let's see. Wow, we got everything. Echo's pulling me like crazy as usual. Look at that, we got the beach right across the street there. We got a McDonald's as well. Looks like a little, oh, don't be there, come on. Looks like a little maybe restaurant and bar or something. We'll cross. I'm not even in, uh, I'm in sneakers. So I don't think we'll actually go I can't see if they're stopping right now. I don't think we'll actually go on the beach, but uh, I mean on the sand, but we'll just head over there if we can. Try to sneak through. Okay, we made it. And just, just explore a little bit. It's cool, they got like a massive amount of, uh, I was already wanting to sniff. Here you go, go on. He's got to sniff every tree. I remember somebody, some dog expert thing, person told me that when they sniff the, uh, you know how dogs like to sniff, stop and sniff at every tree. Somebody told me that it's kind of like their version of like reading the newspaper or whatever. Or I guess nowadays going on TikTok or something like that. But yeah, they're trying to get the lay of the land. Like we just arrived here, so he probably wants to smell, try to get the sense to see what other dogs have been around and everything. Uh, looks like toast. We got like a, maybe a little cafe for the morning. The pizza company, to be honest. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not like the biggest fan. I'm like pretty, uh, like a pizza snob a little bit. I have pretty high standards because there's really good pizza where I'm from. And honestly, that that one, it's like a big chain here in Thailand and it's, it's not that good to be honest. I feel like it's basically kind of like gas station pizza or something. There are some good pizza places, but like in Bangkok, there's one called Soho Pizza, which is New York style, which is really good. Oh wow, look, we got everything. Some Indian food, that's good. In some of the places like uh, Pattaya and Phuket, there's a lot of Indian people, like a good Indian population. So I'm looking forward to some good Indian food. I love Indian food. It's probably like my favorite food, honestly. And I haven't had any in a little while. Cafe Amazon over there, that's a big chain around here. And then Burger King, Taco Bell. Wow, got everything. And this whole thing back here behind it, this building I'm guessing must be like a big mall or something. So that's pretty sweet. Haven't seen so many, oh my God, every single tree, I swear to God. I haven't seen uh, so many foreigners in a while because I've been kind of out of the way uh, like kind of off the beaten path in Thailand not as much where all the foreigners usually go popularly But yeah, this is cool. Oh, and I even see 
jet skis over there. I wonder if maybe you can rent them. The subway, Dunkin' Donuts. I haven't rented a jet ski in a uh, long time. Maybe like a year or something. So that would be kind of fun. I love jet skis, I absolutely love them. Oh, Ripley's, believe it or not. That's cool. I, I haven't been to one of those since I was like little, I think. Look at this, literally every single tree. We haven't passed one tree without him stopping. Oh, and we have our first street dog. Let's see how it goes. Usually they don't bother us too much, especially if there's only one. He's not gonna put up much of a fight, so. And then Echo's got to even more purposefully, he's gonna be on it to mark his territory and show that it's his, he's captured the territory from the dog. Oh, hoop on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is pretty sweet though, I'm excited. We'll see. For right now, we're gonna be here for at least a few days, maybe like three nights or so. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited, honestly. I, like, Rayong was fun and everything, but I can only take it kind of in small doses when you're so detached from everything, especially if you don't have like a car. That's the thing. If you've rented a car or a motorbike, then it's not a big deal. But uh, I, didn't, I didn't feel like doing it just for a few days. So now it's nice because everything is in walking distance. And then I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the infamous walking street, uh, I'm pretty sure you could probably almost already see it. Not quite, but I think it's only like maybe five minutes that way. So the location, just like uh, sensory overload, just more Indian food, biryani, just checking everything out. 99 baht biryani that's amazing that's like three dollars but uh yeah it's nice to be like in the thick of it and everything again i'm pretty excited live it up the next few days the location though is perfect i mean you got everything around you and then the main thing was the beach honestly that was my main uh my main goal every fucking tree jesus but yeah that was my main goal was uh i wanted a place right near the beach because the last place was like not too bad but it was like a like 20 minute walk or 10 minute jog or so which is not bad because we usually go on the jog in the morning every day anyways and then go to the beach and swim a little bit but if you're not if, like if it's the weekend when i don't usually go for the jogs or if you just feel like going to the beach i uh, think you're doing poop now uh then it's nice to have it real close by i'm gonna have to clean this up with a moment Look at that, full of boats, absolutely full. I actually haven't stayed right on this beach before. Last time I stayed on Jomtien Beach, which is like 20 minutes away or so. I think uh, over there on like the other coast kind of. So it'll be interesting here. And there is a rooftop bar. Oh, you can see there's like kind of bigger buildings over that way, I guess. But there is a rooftop bar over this way. Uh, not really walking distance. I think you'd have to drive like just maybe 10 minutes or so. I think it's on the roof of the Hilton, I believe, called like uh, Horizon, um, Horizon Rooftop. And it's, it's beautiful. I, that's like, in my opinion, like the best rooftop I've seen so far in Pattaya. So I might have to go back there one of the next few nights just for a drink or something it's got like the most amazing view from the rooftop like the most amazing view down the whole uh like panorama of like the beach going down the beach it's beautiful careful oh, he's getting he's getting excited with uh just everything kind of like me sensory overload like we were kind of staying in the middle of nowhere honestly in rayong if you guys like are familiar with Rayong, it wasn't even inside the city, it was just outside actually. So, um, oh my god, he's picked up a very strong scent here. And now uh, he's proceeded to pee on the top of it to show who is boss. This is now Echo's territory. If you guys come to Beach Road, Pattaya, just know who is the true owner, it is Echo. <laughs> Yeah, I might actually come back soon though for one of the uh, the coconuts. The coconuts, uh, the coconuts really hit the spot. 
when it's so hot. Oh my God, that food is good. Wow, see that's what I like to see, just the guy carrying around the food, like everything's so convenient. Oh my God, you get spoiled. Oh Jesus. Oh my God, it's not so much, so much food. <laughs> I'm getting hungry already. I might have to get, yeah, I mean, it's like lunchtime. It's just that I ate breakfast late, but maybe get a little snack while we're out. But it's nice because even when I go back to the place, the 7-Eleven's like right around the corner. So there's so many, so much seating here. It looks like you can get like, you know, coconut. And I don't know if they have food maybe too, like maybe seafood, obviously drinks. You can kind of see a little bit there. Maybe just, oh yeah, they have a full menu. Yeah. So it looks pretty good. We'll have to check that out one of the next few nights. The dog. I don't know who he's barking at. The dog over there. Usually the dogs only bark at other dogs, not at people. Usually. All right. Well, we will probably head back towards the place for now. Maybe grab a quick bite on the way or not, and then uh, get some work done probably until evening time or so. And then we'll probably be out again to explore. This is what I'm talking about. There's a guy right here with food. And I was just about to go get some lunch anyways. So this is perfect, right out the door. So I think I'm gonna try to run down real quick and grab some before he goes. Saudi cup. Saudi cup. Chicken. Uh, Tarai cup. 140. Yeah. Uh, one so uh, this one? 130. 130? Yeah. Okay. Uh, one moment. I mean, okay. Uh -huh. It's like a uh, YouTube. YouTube? <laughs> okay. Bye. Uh, no, it's okay. My bad. Okay. Thank you. Uh, come up. Alright. The bag is secured. All right, okay. That's what we got. Got a little bit of food, and even with sauce. It was like a tiny bit expensive, to be honest. Like 140 baht. So, what is it, like uh, three, three dollars, 350 or something like that? For just like the one, not gigantic piece of chicken, but I mean, you're in Pattaya in like the main area. So I guess you can't complain too much. The prices are probably gonna be a little bit higher. And then also the convenience is literally right outside the door. So I think me and Echo will maybe share 50-50. What do you think, 50-50? Yeah? Let's see. Yeah, so not that big to be honest for the price, but it's okay. 